Let's create our first scene from scratch. Click on the mountain range environment. This is Lumion's build mode. Here, you'll edit your scene to later create your renders. Let me show you the different ways you can navigate here. Hold down the right click button to move around in Lumion. Use the arrow keys or the WSAD keys to move to the left, right, forward and backwards. Use Q to move up and E to move down. Now let's put this together more effectively. Let's hold the W key and the right click mouse button to steer the camera while we move forward. If we want to speed this up, we'll add the combination of the shift key. And if we really want to go fast, add the space bar. Great, now that we can navigate the space, let's take a look at the interface. Here we are in build mode. There are four different tabs. The content library, which contains the categories of objects you can place on your scene, including your imported models. If it's placeable, you will find it here. The material editor, which will allow you to assign, import and edit materials to your imported models. The landscape tab will let you edit the landscape topology and materials. Or place your project into context with the OSM feature. The weather tab, which will let you take control of the sun, clouds and wind in the project or preview the real skies effect. Here to the top left, we have the output menu, the home button that brings you back to the starting screen, saving your projects from build mode, photo mode where you will create your still images, movie mode to create your clips and render movies, and 360 panorama to get some 360 images of the spaces in your projects. You also have the option to control the Lumion workspace using consistent controls with the 3D modeling software. These are available for SketchUp, Revit, and Rhino. You can check all the keyboard shortcuts available in our knowledge base article. 